Welcome to Spain, and welcome to the Catfish Capers official video. In this video, you will be joining a group of anglers who are travelling to Spain and embarking on a two-week catfishing adventure on the River Ebro. All these anglers will be fishing under the expert guidance of Martin Milka of Catfish Capers and his team of professional angling guides. Whilst filming on the River Ebro, we hope to land some very big catfish in front of the cameras. And hopefully, in the process, I will give you an insight into what a catfishing holiday with Catfish Capers is all about. I hope you enjoy this journey and that I can give you some idea of what it is like fishing for and catching Sumerius glanus, the world's catfish and Europe's largest freshwater species. You join us here as five keen catfish anglers arrive at our comfortable spacious apartment, which is situated in the historical Spanish town of Caspe, on the banks of the River Ebro, a few miles from where we fish. Caspe is unspoiled by tourism and has many fine restaurants and tapas bars, where us catfish anglers can retire for beers and a good meal after a hard day's fishing. The following morning, we drove down to the river at a place called Chibana to launch the boat and to go and do some catfishing. The plan was that we would fish the river between Chibana and Escatron for the next two weeks, and hopefully along the way, some big sea road would be hooked and landed. Uh, all about 12 or 13 miles upstream to um, a lovely looking area. Um, looks, looks quite a promising area this, so uh, we'll see how we get on here. Um, if we've had a lot of rain um, north of Zaragoza in the north. Um, it's pushed the, um, the level up quite a bit. Um, certainly two days ago there was an awful lot of flow, but uh, today it's looking pretty good. I'm fishing with uh, Martin Walker, who's my guide today. Hi, um, and um, so, how do you think we'll get on here in, in this, this well, particular area? Well, as you said, there's been a lot of rain coming down. We've had trees and all sorts zipping through. Um, so we've been fishing further down, uh, where it's been a bit more sheltered. Mm. But uh, we usually do quite well up here. Uh, the river's fining down quite nicely now, so quite optimistic we'll have a fish or two here. Yeah, sure. Now, I've um, I fished with you guys before. I was here last September. I did, did really well. Had had some big fish out. I know you guys catch a lot of fish. Um, perhaps you can uh, give us some information about your professional setup and what what's the sort of fishing you do. Yeah, um, it's mainly carp fishing. We're, we're trying to get some of this winter carp fishing going. Um, there's absolutely stacks of carp in here as well. Um, as for the setup, we've we've got three three bedroom apartments uh, in the town of Caspe. Quite uh, luxurious apartments, good sized ones. Uh, as for the equipment, we've got three large boats that we do our guiding from and three smaller ones for the people who want to come out and do it themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can really cater for our complete novices right the way through to the experienced best being hunters. Uh, nice range of rods from Fox. Yeah. Um, and, and really re all the way through it's top top quality gear. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, in terms of the fishing potential, um, obviously there's a, I know there's a lot of catfish up, but this is the top lake we're fishing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, down at Mequinenza, um, has, th that area has produced fish up to 190, um, and your personal best, I think, is a at 160 now, here? Uh, best up on the top here for a client is 160 pounds. Mm, yeah. uh, come out last year. 
so that could be even bigger now it's got potential uh, so the one or two that we have had re as a repeat captures year on year I've sort of putting 10 to 15 pound on mm -hmm. so, so potentially well eventually these these fish are going to reach the weights of the the fish up at um, I, they're, they're, I would say they're catching them up mm -hmm. quite quickly yeah. um, I think Mequinenza fish were introduced about five years earlier than uh, the fish here, so we are, are on uh, a bit of a catch up. But it seems to be more food available to them here than Mequinenza. They seem to, it's just a much smaller area of river that uh, is dammed there. However, you know, there are some absolute whackers down there. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, up here there is an awful lot of catfish. Uh, it is worth pointing that out. Um, some lovely areas to fish here. Um, it's a nice place to fish. Um, and there is, and there is a lot of catfish here, isn't there? Yeah, there's lots and lots of catfish here. And, and they are big fish, I mean, 60, 70, 80, 90, and uh, you've had a lot of 100 pound fish. Uh, I think it's fair, fa safe to say most of your customers catch 100 pounders. The majority of them go home with a 100 pounder, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Uh, say a party of uh, nine, you would expect six or seven to go home with a 100 pounder. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have had weeks where everybody do. Um, Obviously, we have a few weeks where, where we struggle, um, but uh, we always catch fish. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, I can, I can assure uh, the people uh, watching at home, if you want to catch a big catfish, uh, these are the guys to come out with. They, they do catch the fish for their customers. Um, catfish capers are the, the people to go with. Um, there's no doubt about that. Be a nice idea if we run through uh, some of the gear we'll be using. Um, so uh, maybe you want to talk through yeah. what, what we've got here. Uh, most of the fishing I do is uh, off, off the boats being guided. Um, on here we use the, the Fox 6 foot 10 catfish rod, the, the boat rod, a uh, nice powerful rod. Yeah. Seems to tame the bigger fish very well indeed. It's quite important to have um, a, sh a short rod really for the boat fishing and, and the power really because I mean it's, it's worth pointing out these are big fish that we're, we're trying to catch yeah. here. Uh, up until this last sort of 18 months I'd been using uh, 9 foot rods to, to do both bank and boat fishing yeah. but we found that once you got the fish close to the boat you lost a bit of control because the rods were too long yeah. since cutting them down you've got far more control over the fish yeah I and mean, a lot of people might think that uh, we're perhaps over gunning ourselves a bit with the strength of line but it is really sort of necessary to use big big you know braid like this for uh, to get the fish in quickly really well you can get them in quickly um, uh, and only yesterday we found a float going down the river um, catfish on the end of it unfortunately we couldn't get it out the line snapped yeah. and it was about 30 30 pound braid yeah. I mean it's ridiculous yeah. you know we want to get these fish in we want to get them hooked we don't want to leave them with with rigs trailing behind them multipliers uh, we, we, we first started off using fixed spools but um, we found them starting to crack and actually snap on the handles yeah um, then we moved on to uh, multipliers with the, the line lay and uh, with the amount of use that they get and the pressure they're under we found the line lays were chewing up five six weeks and, and the reel was um, you know needing major repair. Um, we've now moved on to these ones with the lever drag here. Yeah, very um, handy actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we're dropping baits off, um, you can just slightly engage it just to keep a nice tension on the on the line there. And uh, we found these to be excellent ones. We use uh, pen reels. Yeah, it's, it's important to have the uh, the ability to, to the, 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 your winding ability with a multiplier is vastly superior. Mm -hmm. And really, I think a superior clutch as well on a multiplier. More clutches uh, as opposed to fixed ball reel. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, yeah, so maybe we'd want to uh, run through the um, terminal tackle. Terminal end at the moment. The catfish are on eels. Down on the bottom. And uh, our rigs are really simplicity itself. Um, <coughs> nice muddy lead down. There's the lead weight just on a free running snap link. Huge bead. Swivel. That's the business end, is the, the, the nice eel. Nice big single. And, and that's a that. size 12 out hook? Uh, that one is a 6 -o. That's a 6, -o. six -o. It is essential to use the very, very big hooks, really. I mean, they're and big fish hooks. and strong hooks. Big fish with with huge mouths. So, uh, so. I think we should uh, cast the base out and get fishing. Back out and get some fish.
onto the bank here just a little bit of uh, fishing. We saw a load of fish uh, cooping right near the edge. I then actually got two rods in the water and uh, one was away. Feels like a reasonable fish. Uh, only time will tell just how big it is. But it ain't coming in yet. Quite a severe drop off just there. Steps apprentice. It's not foul looked, is it? It's just been lassoed. Just sort of wrapped around him, yeah. Hence the. Uh, that could be fun. Lassoed. <laughs> it's uh, what, 50, 60. Well done, Twitter. Just put it on the grass there, look. That's it, just lie him on there. That's it, it won't do any damage. Can we roll it? Yeah. There you go, it's a fish of about 60 pounds. Lovely fish. There's a view of its head. We've, uh, we didn't catch actually get any run. We had one run from the boat which was a dropped run and we've, we've just uh, stopped off here and did a, bank, a bit of bank fishing and, uh, and within what, five minutes? That's a lot. Yeah, five <laughs> minutes we had a take. Mm. Should we put him back then? Yep, slipping back in. Yep. Just uh, do a bit of footage of me putting it back. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely a 60 there. <laughs> nice to see him going back nice and lively. <laughs> As you can see, he was feeding in the margins. <laughs> Pretty impressive, doesn't it? Yeah. And there she is. rolling yep we've this is a fish of we haven't got our scales with us but it's between 90 and 100 uh, it is heavy oh. certainly a nice fish we'll never know for sure if it's a hundred but it's it's 
it could well be over 100. 90 to 100 certainly. <laughs> there you go. Just put him back. Excellent, nice one, nice fish there. It's not a very big fish this. Shouldn't take too long to get in. Or say that, but hang on, it's getting in that bloody propeller now. Not very big. Oh, it's bigger than that actually. It's a good 30, isn't it? Might even go 40 there. I'd say 40. Yeah, 40. Yeah, that's a 40, 40 pounder. 45. Yeah. The day's fishing was coming to an end, and we watched the fading sun slowly slip down below the horizon. Throughout the day I had caught some big world's catfish, up to an impressive 90 pounds in weight. But this was just another day on the prolific River Ebro, where the capture of big catfish has now become a daily occurrence. By 8pm we wound our baits in and headed back to Caspe to a local tapas bar for a few beers and a nice evening meal. The fishing throughout the day had been fantastic, but I was sure that over the preceding days to come some very big fish would be hooked and landed. fishing with Catfish Capers guide Paul Groves. After launching the boat at Chaprana, we headed upstream to try our luck, and with the help and expert guidance of Paul Groves, we were soon hooking into big catfish. Fish on again. Paul's good to you, Paul. Paul. Oh. You too, though. I won't mind about it. 60, 70 just as a good photo shot, really. Oh, yeah, he's getting choosy now, ain't he? Listen, oh, you know, somebody I can stand up. Is that it, right? No. Oh, 
so I've had daddy. We've lost daddy. Okay. Children only. Right, they come with me. It's not that tight, is it? I've just loosened it off a bit, but it wasn't even... Nice, um, healthy bend on the rod there. It's a really nice fish. <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> There's Paul wrestling with a 50 pound catfish. They're very slimy. Elderly. That's his first fish of the day. And Hopefully not the last day. Eh? Hopefully not the last. Back goes the fish. today.
we, we launched the uh, boat at uh, Chiprana about, uh, about an hour ago, I guess. Um, had a bit of a late start today, and we launched the boat at about 11 o'clock. Um, we've come about eight miles uh, upstream um, to a very promising area. I've got uh, Dwayne Williams with me. He's one of the uh, Catfish and Capers guides. Um, what do you think of this uh, area we're fishing now in terms of the, our chances today? Well, you all have favourite swims, and uh, this little stretch has been my favourite this year. A mm -hmm. uh, couple of months ago, I had 800s on this stretch in one week. Yeah. And the last two times I visited here, one day we had one run, one two six. Yeah. And uh, two weeks ago, a 13-year-old lad who I thought was eight had a 108-pounder first fish. Mm -hmm. so that's quite a promising yeah. area. Yeah. Hopefully we'll go we'll okay. Here. Ten pound fish. It. Oh, it certainly looks over 110, but yeah, it does. that's the weight we got. They weigh what they weigh, not like German style. Dwayne, lift your red up. One more time. 
Oh, hang on. continued fishing at that particular hot spot and I caught three more smaller catfish more, and we later moved to an area on the shore where the fishing action continued. We joined the action here as Jonathan hooks into another typical Ebro catfish of 52 pounds which put up quite a spirited fight. Okay, we've got Jonathan here into a fish. Uh, we dropped off about an hour ago into uh, uh, onto the shore and did a bit of bank fishing, cast four rods out, and at last uh, we've had a run. Don't know how big the fish is yet. Does it feel like a good one? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, he says. That's not a bad fish, it's a fair size, they're all big ones really. pound fish I would say, looking at it from here. Another nice catfish. There you go, it's a 52 pound catfish for Jonathan. Our fifth fifth fish of the day. We had uh, fish up to 110 today. It's been quite a good day. Uh, we're going to be fishing for about another hour, and uh, then we'll be packing up. There you go. How big is how big was it again? 52. 52. It's a nice catfish. Fortunately, although it was now getting late, Jonathan's fish was not the last fish of the day. And about 15 minutes after his fish was returned, I hooked into another catfish which really felt heavy and gave me a memorable fight. It is very gentle take, though. This was a quite a good fish, so um, we'll see. Got a problem with cross lines now. I don't know, I feel good. This fish, I don't know, I feel good. It's about half past seven now, um, be getting dark soon. So we really had this in the last knockings. Yeah. Uh, it's not that big. 60, 70, maybe an 80. Nice one though. Oh. You are just, just a little slight glimpse of its, uh, of its uh, depth there. Bad one. Not a bad one, is it? Yeah, 
quite a good one. 80 plus, I think. Even be a ton. Never we know. shall see. We'll weigh it. Yes, this is heavy. It's heavy fish. What have we got? 91. 91 pounds. Excellent. Let's see. Right. Uh, yep, do we have the tail? Here we go then. We run me. Yep. 91 pound cat. Oh, well, about half an hour before dark, it's about half past seven now. Uh, always welcome at this size. Okay, it's a 91 pound catfish, so one last look at it. We continued to fish until just before dark and at 8pm we packed up and headed back downstream to Chiprana where a minibus was waiting for us. It had been another successful day's catfishing which produced six Wells catfish up to an impressive 110 pounds. But this was just the start of a wonderful catfishing adventure and I still had nine days of fantastic fishing ahead of me at this unforgettable angling destination, the River Ebro, home of the giant Wells catfish. Wednesday evening, seven new English anglers from Essex arrived at the apartment. They were here for seven days and we all expected them to catch some big siluro whilst they were here. Catfish Capers frontman Martin Walker soon introduced himself and gave his guests a detailed explanation of where he had been catching and the areas of the river where these new guys would be fishing over the next week. After a tasty evening meal and a few beers, it was time to get our heads down for some much needed overnight sleep. And the following morning, we were off in the minibus and driving down to the river to do some catfishing. And eight keen catfish anglers were fresh and ready for action. Fishing over.